What's going on guys, the Infant Beatdown, I'm back with more Fake Grand Order, it's time to continue on in Salem. It is time for Section 4, The Third Knot. I wish it was the last knot. Before Dawn, Carter House. Oh, good morning, senpai. Why are you awake? I could ask the same of you, senpai. It's not even daybreak yet. Neza is staying out of sight and keeping watch from the roof. This is the only place they can use their spirit forms, after all. It looks like today will be the best weather we've seen in a while, even if the wind is very, still very strong. Look, come you weren't in your room. I went to go check on you and hope to catch you undressed, but, uh, you know. I was resting in Abby's room. Hmm. Hindsight is really weird when you start making a joke. Naza and I both talked to her a bit last night. She was curled up in her bed, crying. She's been trying to put on a brave face, but she's suffering quite a lot. She feels terrible about, uh, blah, 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 about what happened to Tichuba and to Lavinia's family. And then there's... Carter acting all dickish, right? Yes, exactly. Not how I worded it, but yeah, that... She said her uncle may be strict, but he was never the kind of person who could do something so cruel. I guess I haven't been much of help to you after all, senpai. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're forced to be here. Thank you, senpai. Okay, I'm going to go get ready. Mash. Time for breakfast. Robin will keep watch now. To be honest, Robin would make the most sense. Wait a second. I just thought about something. It just dawned on me. So, uh, sorry, I kind of spaced out there for a second while I was thinking it over. So, I just remembered. It's not utilized in this game, but Robin has the noble phantasm that... Basically makes him invisible. The face, uh, the Mayday King. I, yeah, I can't remember the which name it goes by in which version. I just know part of that is Mayday King. Um, might be just Faceless King. I don't actually remember. But anyways, uh, the, the cloth to basically cloak himself. So if we wanted to investigate around the town, why didn't we have him use that? Like, I know we're all weak and all, but they have not stated anything that says that the servants are impeded in using their noble phantasms. So why didn't we just have, like, Robin super sleuth with Mayday King? I don't know. Anyways. Thanks, Neza. It's still a little early for breakfast, but I think I can make you something quick and... Oh, wait. Sup? I just remembered that I checked the pantry earlier, and we're almost out of food. Of course we need to make sure Mr. Carter and Abby have enough to eat, but we also need to think about ourselves. Porridge. Again. Morning. Carter House. Salem Day 4. Okay. So, aside from finding out that Abby felt terrible about what was happening, what did that conversation just accomplish? It accomplished nothing. Why did we have it? And they could have just as easily fit that into some other conversation, going like, Oh, yeah, Abby's taking this really hard. I was up with her while she was curled up on her bed crying. Boom! Done! Hire me as a writer! I don't speak Japanese, but by God, I could probably do a better job. Or at least hire me to fucking, f like, proofread your fucking stories. God, I hope Cosmos of the Lost Belt is better. It's not going to be, but, well, 
not with that mindset anyways, but you know, there's always, it's kind of, it's a telling sign. I've gone through like one and a half story parts so far. And it's just been, eh, you know, it's not God awful. There are some parts that are worse than others, but it's just kind of like, you know, it's just kind of, eh, if I'm going to be real. Anyways, moving on. So that's what happened last night. Thanks for investigating so quickly. Of course, unfortunately there did end up being some casualties. Some villagers put up a valiant fight and managed to defend themselves. But by the end of the night, four were dead. And to make things worse, they can't even be buried yet since this happened at the town graveyard. Then, where are the bodies being kept now? At the Reverend's house. I happened to be there while they were discussing it, so I suggested that, and the Reverend asked me to help. They're now safely in his basement, which is locked in as secure as we can make it. Some of the... Bereaved? I don't know what that means. We're very upset about that idea, though, so it took a lot of work to convince them. Thanks again, Matahari. So, we were not strong enough, even though they enjoyed our play. It's sad, but it's also infuriating, isn't it? These are just regular people trying to live their lives in peace. It's kind of ironic that the preparations they made to fight in wars or against the Native Americans ended up being useful to them now. Oh, there you are, Vane. I'm afraid I've got some seriously bad news. Where's Bash? I don't see her anywhere. Uh, somewhere. She said we're all out of food, so she went shopping with Abigail. Damn this incarnation forcing us to eat to keep up our strength. Yeah, it's adversely affecting our magical energy turnaround rate, too. To make matters worse, even the general store was running low on stock, so it can't be easy for Mash to buy what we need. Worst case scenario, we may have to deal directly with the farmers. Where is Mr. Carter? You mean he's not here? Come to think of it, I don't see Robin anywhere, either. Maybe Robin is super sleuthing. Uh, I see. So this is bad. So bad. Alright, what's the problem, Cersei? We... We can communicate with Kialda again. What? This is bad because... I thought Master was the only one who could set it up, let alone turn it on. Hey, don't look at me. I'm as shocked as any of you. <laughs> well, Medea's angry. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Can we say, why does that say Medea question mark? Oh, yeah. She's mad. Real mad. Super mad, even. I believe enraged is the right word. Oh, gee, I wonder why. You can see why I was hoping Mash could calm her down a bit. Good idea. Still, you did this to you. Exactly. You made your bed. Now you can lie in it. Anyway, if the real Medea is responding to us from Kiata, they must have an idea of what's going on here. I have no idea what she's yelling about. You know, I wonder why our communication suddenly came back online like this. Oh, that? Unfortunately, it had nothing to do with the work Nash and I have been try doing trying to get it turned up, tuned up. And it doesn't look like Kiata did anything to override the interference either. It's weird. As far as I can tell, it looks like something either changed here or here and with Kiata at the same time and activated the magical summoning circle. Ah, bullshit. Gotcha. So then, it's not like the demon god pillar or something else is hacking us. Hacking? You really think anything could hack my workshop? Mistia seems to be losing her patience. It's a shame that we're not all here right now, but we can't wait any longer. 
Can we communicate with the master? <laughs> Is this okay, Da Vinci? Pen and paper. <laughs> Nod. Great, so we're stuck using pen and paper. <laughs> Got it. Thanks for the bare bones update. I'm not reading this because it's all written, technically, so they're not speaking. Which is totally not an excuse to not have to do voices for a change. <laughs> I'm glad you're... You're all okay. We have a good idea of what's going on there now. Between Tichiba's fate and Hopkins' arrival, things are clearly going different, very differently from real history. I'm glad to see even when it's written on paper, I still can't read it. We don't have much time to trade info since our connection is unstable. So let's do that while we can. First of all, is that Cersei? Giggling. Yeah. I see. Then I guess we avoided the worst case scenario. I'm glad to hear that we got a little good news in all this. At least we now know what one of the major threats we're facing is, so we can take measures against it. <laughs> do tell. Wise and insightful Cersei, allow me to thank you on behalf of all Kialda. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm glad to see Kialda's acting commander is so polite and understanding. So, why was Cersei summoned? What bullshit explanation do you have? After investigating things on our end, it's clear that the near-future observation lens Sheva had a hand in Cersei's accidental summoning. So bullshit. Gotcha. What's more, it's been acting strangely again since right before our comms were re-established. It, well, bluntly, it's gone berserk. Okay, see, this doesn't make sense because it's being written. Why would... Okay, so we're communicating through paper and pen, right? That's how we're communicating. We can't just speak to each other. Now, I hate when people respond like this sometimes, too, unless you're doing it for dramatic effect. And it can kind I guess, in a sense, you can claim that that's what they're doing here but it's really weird whenever people write messages like dms or comments or stuff and they like pause second guess or go or like go like oh so i was doing this dot 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 never mind in actual text like that doesn't make sense in text text you can back it up before you send it words you cannot hence why you would do something like i mean forget what i just said see what i mean as opposed to text, it's just, you wrote it out. Why can't you unwrite it? I don't know, it's just weird. So that, uh, the it well bluntly just seems weird. We're doing everything we can to keep the system running, but it could shut down at any time. Worst case, it could even damage the system or cause problems during your race shift back. So we still have a lot of questions, but I think we'd better end the call after this next bit of info. Are you doing all right, Vane? Yup. This is the most critical thing I have to tell you. I'm going to have to broad, broad strokes it for you. I wish I could have told Mash directly, but oh well. These analysis results pertain to the forced incarnation you told us about earlier. When you infiltrated Salem, your memories were falsified. To be more exact, your entire cognitive process was jumbled up. We believe you are now unable to connect your knowledge, i.e. your memories of past events, to the information you are currently receiving. Great. That's taking it a bit far. It's more like you're all on a really bad trip. Still... I'm impressed this Da Vinci lady managed to figure all that out from what little she had to work with. That does back up what Cersei warned us about. This is terrible. We'll never figure out the truth as we are. This is a devastating blow to our mission. We're practically dancing in the Demon God Pillar's palm right now. Is there nothing we can do? Good point. Is there any way to counteract it? This condition includes visual and auditory hallucinations. It's less like Magecraft and more like, well, going mad. I had Matahari memorize our historical file on Salem before you went there, and Mash already knew it. 
This file included a list of all known residents in late 17th century Salem identified prior to this incident. Comparing that list against the people there now should have told you who didn't belong there. But it sounds like you haven't been able to determine that. Which means that even Mash, who's no longer a Demi servant... Look, a, a spirit origin being dormant is not how that works, but whatever. Thanks to her Galahad spirit origin, being dormant was unable to escape this effect. That bodes equally poorly for you too, Vaini Zanagi. You're in a seriously precarious state. That said, not even a demon god pillar can alter someone completely without a contract. Can I say bullshit? Pretty sure if you're strong enough, you could probably do it. Understood. This will not stand. One thing I can say is that there's probably some truth that can only be seen from within the madness. Something that's making it hard for us to observe Salem from the outside. No, we cannot abandon our sanity. So why is Cersei the least affected? We still don't know, unfortunately. There's no way the runaway demon god pillar wouldn't predict that Kialda would try to stop it. And there's no reason Cersei would be any exception, according to Medea here. I actually have a different opinion myself, but at this point I'm just speculating. At any rate, as long as you have a temporary contract with her in place... Sorry, the engineers are having a fit. Looks like our equipment is at its limit. I'm afraid we have to go. Next time, I'll be ready to exchange information in a considerably more efficient manner. I pray to all your respective gods that you complete the mission and come back safely. All right. <laughs> At Cersei. Do you intend to return to Kiada, Sign Medea. Oh, hell no. She must, uh, she must be living in Dreamland if she thinks I'm going back there. She was a lot smarter back when she was still a virgin. <laughs> she said absolutely. Hey, what? I'm glad we were able to tell them we're okay. This doesn't do much to help us. No one say that. I'm glad to know you're relieved, Master. True, that is very important. Has anyone seen Nash? Good question. She has been out shopping for quite a long time. She should have been back by now. I do not sense evil aura. But I am hungry. Can no longer move. Oh, are you stepping out then, Master? If you're going to go meet Mash, I'll come with you. I can't wait to tell her about this call. We're going to immediately forget this entire call the moment we step out, aren't we? No trouble at all, Master. I'll go too. And I see now just how strange this village really is. And I doubt the ghouls that show up at night are the only danger that should concern us. It is a nice day for once, and I'm tired of staying inside. I think I'll take this chance to go out and... <laughs> you stay here. Huh? You know you're talking to the Queen Witch here, right? Hunger. Famished. Need. Meat. Are those... Wings. Do they... Taste... Like... Chicken. What? Hey! Quit looking at me like that! Hey!